reform movement is education reform. And it's not of the 19th century, it's of the 21st century. Okay, so No Child Left Behind Act. It was passed in 2002 under the Bush administration and was actually a re reiteration of the Elementary and Secondary Education Act of 1965. Um, and the base goal of this act was to improve education for students with lower income families. Basically, uh, education quality. Key things to note about the uh, No Child Left Behind Act is that um, it required students to be tested annually for math and reading, uh, grades 3 through 8, and once th uh, grades 10 through 12. Um, also required students uh, to be tested in science one time during each of those periods. Also use these test scores as a benchmark for uh, improvement and uh, basic comprehension of the uh, subject. Yep, you know what time it is. Time to go over the goals. Oh yeah. Okay, so two main goals. Uh, create better education opportunities for low-income students and increase standards for students uh, across the U.S. Um, and do this through yearly progress that would be measured through the test benchmarks. Okay, so uh, reform activists. Um, first one is President George Bush with his uh, No Child Left Behind Act. And uh, there's a picture of him right now. Um... Yep, made that picture go on too long, okay. Um, okay, here it comes. Okay, there we go. And uh, President Barack Obama with his Common Core. There's a picture of him. It's like I'm reading my own mind right now. That was too long too? Okay, let's go. Okay, there we go. And uh, Michael Bennett, who is a senator, and uh, it used to be a Denver superintendent. Um, and he is an advocate for uh, the reform movement. And I can't, you know... I had a lot of trouble writing that sentence down, um, harder than it might seem, so I just went with it, because that was like my 20th take of that, so, and there's a picture of him, uh, yeah. Okay, let's look at some reasons for this reform. Reform movement causes. Okay, so, there was an education gap between, oh god, uh, the... High income and low income families. Um, in fact, 30 to 40 percent higher in tw 2001 than in previous 25 years. So it's pretty bad. And um, Americans with high school diplomas only and who went to get jobs made on average 50 percent less than those with college education. So college education is pretty important and not enough people are getting it. Um, also, there was an overall want for equal opportunities for everyone regardless of their financial state. So, just hold this here for a moment. Okay, watch out, watch out. Oh, oh, nope, look at that face. Oh, that's bad. Okay, that's okay. enough of the Board of Wisdom. Time to move on to the accomplishment of the Reform Movement. As promised, here are the accomplishments of the Reform Movement. Okay, so, accomplishments of the Reform. So, they're... Recently launched Common Core, which can be seen as a success, I suppose. Um, also, the No Child Left Behind Act has had some successes, but it's still far from perfect, and it, it is still controversial. Um, uh, but as of 2010, 38% of the schools were not meeting the adequate yearly progress made that is set by the No Child Left Behind Act. Um, so yeah, that's not very good, and... Um, there are more successes, especially if you look on a more localized um, area, like a, a town or a city, uh, or even a state. But overall, there's still a long ways to go. And uh, here's all the information written down on my amazing board of wisdom right here. Okay, here we go. And um, so, yeah, overall, uh, has made improvements, but there's still a long way to go go before we reach the sort of goals that the reform has set for itself. And yeah, that is the education reform of the 21st century in a nutshell. That's it. Thanks for watching.